the important big picture you know, results here that this is really in line with what we've seen in invasive cancer studies. And if we're going to keep using you know, an expensive test, we should have outcomes data that it's useful. And right now, our outcomes that we can evaluate are surgical outcomes, meaning re-excision rates and mastectomy rates, and then long-term outcomes, which is what we've looked at. And so now in DCIS patients and invasive cancer patients from other studies, we're really not seeing data to support that you know, routine use in these populations. I think that it would be helpful to have guidelines for appropriate use for an expensive technology like this. Right now, it's really surgeon and institution dependent for who uses this test um, in different situations. And we have guidelines for screening use for MRI, so I think that that would be a helpful tool to reduce the unnecessary use of this test.